The neighborhood has been plagued with issues for more than a decade. We explore the lack of businesses and blight and problems without crime in our Forgotten East series. That was nearly four years ago. Now a new Goodwill store is coming to the new neighborhood and the company is shedding light on its plans for the former Lowe's building, but the new multifunctional space, it's causing quite a stir among our residents. Our Whitney Miller explains. There are mixed feelings from residents here in the East about what's to come of this old Lowe's site. Some say they welcome the idea of a Goodwill, while others say they felt blindsided. Kamalita McKee grew up in New Orleans East and remembers when it was in its prime. I'm not so naive to think that we're going to be what we used to be in the 90s, the 2000s, but we should be way further along than where we are now. McKee works with New Orleans East Matters, a group pushing for the revitalization of the area. She was shocked to learn Tuesday that Goodwill purchased the former Lowe's building on Reed Boulevard. And they do do good work. So I think if Goodwill had come in after, say, you know, Piccadilly, Target, TJ Maxx, something like that, it wouldn't be hitting the headwinds that it's hitting right now. She says those headwinds have a lot to do with perception. It's a topic local Goodwill leaders addressed Wednesday in a press conference about the purchase. We're looking forward to being out there and so that they can come see the work that we do. Jody DeRocca says the new site in the East will create 75 new jobs and be the home for a new retail store, outlet store, an opportunity center, and a warehouse to house multiple phases of the company's recycling efforts. So they took us on a tour of the facility on Tulane, a smaller scale example of what's expected at the East location. We hope to be a catalyst to bring other things out there as well. Goodwill being our partner, uh, to solicit other retailers, other possible business investors to make sure that we stabilize that footprint and fill up the rest. It's a sentiment that McKee agrees with. We still need economic anchors for our residents. In New Orleans East, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness News. So